Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing with War Tales. The War Tales Pirates of Beleriand DLC has just launched and hit the stores in Steam, so it was a no-brainer for me to get involved and revisit the game to see what is in store. And what better way of doing that than starting a fresh new playthrough where we are going to explore specifically the Pirates of Beleriand content in the south. Are you ready to board one of the pirate ships? Say yar and join me with a new game. So, a lot has happened since we visited War Tales the last time. Uh, they did a lot of quality of life improvements and of course they added a new game mode in terms of difficulty. So we're going with new game and we will play on the hardest difficulty and it's going to be a blind playthrough as always. So I am thinking for this playthrough to keep it uh, kind of conservative light and uh, just do the very basic minimum. Uh, we are just going to have a party of four and I'm trying to beat all of the content with that Maybe I'll branch out and get a fifth one uh, Just so that we do have a proper front line. No companions. Nothing just like basic uh, Nice little fights that way. It's also not as tedious to go through each of the fights I think like a four versus a six four versus a seven and so on will be good to um, Have an enough viewing pleasure we're going to go with Apprentice Friends looking for an adventure simply because Swordsman, Brood, Ranger and Archer are a nice combination. Both the Brood and the Swordsman can be tanks. Archer and Ranger can very much uh, be uh, damage dealers and uh, also both Swordsman and Brood actually can be AoE damage. The Warrior would be nice as well. What else do we have here? Swordsman, Warrior, Ranger, Archer. Hmm. That is not too bad. The Warrior then can be... Um, can be our AoE melee DPS. Let's do that. We're going with that. Uh, we are... Going to have critical damage increased by 10%. Because it's great. And as a flaw... Each companion's carrying capacity decreased by one. So, in order to pull off what I was trying to do, we're going to adapt the exploration mode, mainly because the game can be quite long. If we are going for the region lock mode, we might not immediately be able to go to the south and explore it, but that's exactly what I want this playthrough to be about, the new DLC and the content therein. We're going to go with extreme combat difficulty and extreme survivability difficulty as well as Iron Man where the game is over when we're doing any mistakes so that in itself plus adaptive mode will mean we're not having any easy uh, easy tasks ahead. I like the Tiltron count, uh, County uh, setup or starting up option. I am considering Maybe starting in a different province to uh, to see how that plays. How about we're starting in Vertrux? Let's do that. And we need to go through uh, the Tiltron uh, province. So that is Saiken tries the new DLC. All right, our starting group. Let's get these guys together. All right, so we got our party together. Let me run you through these guys. I will say there will be a couple of limitations in this run. Uh, for starters, I don't want to steal a lot, so we're not going to abuse the fact that this game still has an incredible incentive for just stealing things. We're not going to do that. This is going to be hard-earned uh, cash by ourselves. Secondly, I'll keep really to four, maybe maximum five uh, people. Um, I think the disadvantage of that is we can't see all of the classes in play, but on the upside we're getting really crisp combat. So, uh, I took, as always, viewers from our comment section, those who are present and who haven't been in the first run. Uh, inappropriate Murphy snuck himself in. He will be the archer, as your typical uncle 
who can't keep his mouth shut, he will have the residing hairline, the sort of inappropriate uh, mustache, and the uh, three o'clock shades or five o'clock shades. We're going to run him as bloodthirsty and nimble, so crit and dex will be the main um, ideas here. I'll start with run just because he can get out of a bit of uh, pickle. The second main damage dealer will be one gnome to rule them all, uh, short one gnome rules, and as such we yeah, will get wrath as an extra ability. Bloodthirsty Nimble, very similar combination, uh, the assassin really excels at it. And you can see that the DLC nicely put in a couple of more southerners as potential characters, so you can see I immediately adapted that because it's fun to play with southerners. So then we got our melee uh, AoE DPS, the fluffy janitor. And here we're going with Bloodthirsty and Strength uh, as our abilities. Uh, he will be the two-handed guy for the harsh, uh, for the harsher jobs. And finally, we got uh, Jim Mullet, who is going to be the older and wiser tank in the front line. I really like the style of uh, this one here: thick-skinned and brawny plus some healing capabilities with first aid will be a good starting point. So let's jump right into the mix and see how this party of four is going to do. All right, so we landed in the World Truth province. Oh, nice. Everything new and one known to rule them all apparently has already gotten a level. How's that even possible? Okay, so we randomly got one level. Cool. Love it. That is great. Um, and I think a couple of things that we can do here. Number one, um, we're going to upgrade willpower plus uh, two because we want to get to that 15 points threshold where the unit survives the first time they should die in combat, but it can only happen once per combat. So, we do have three options here. Every time this unit ends the turn next to an ally and is not gauge combat, gain one. No. Every time the unit kills an enemy, you gain one. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Every time this unit ends the turn next to an enemy and is not engaged in combat, no, no. We're going to take a valorous victory here. Uh, and we're very soon going to pick uh, our, our option here. Cutthroat would be one option. Performs uh, two additional attacks. Strategist is another one with smoke screen and poison. Uh, poisoner would be the third one. I personally like to run Assassin. Since I said that this playthrough is focusing on the new content, I don't know if we can unlock the old uh, stuff just to get a couple of cool skills, but Assassin is a really efficient build and I really, really like it. So, um, might need to think that through. Anyways, if you are starting um, off just like I am, uh, my recommendation is always make sure that we're getting our things in order. So first things first, Jim is at the front line, uh, inappropriate Murphy is in the back line. Our four-man party has a tank, kind of an off tank, uh, and two damage dealers. Uh, the problem with our tank is they don't tank a lot, because with five armor and a barrel lit as a shield, we're not really good. So. That's going to be a challenge. Additionally, we don't have any um, skills um, that we can use yet. So let's just double check. Inventory here. Our, our Tinkerer will be a one uh, gnome to rule them all. And let's see, I think the easiest uh, topic would be a couple of lockpicks, a bit of uh, python and torches. So we need cloth, wool and grease. We can get that, we can get torches, torches give critical hit chance and an extra attack. Uh, that's a huge damage upgrade for melee, plus burning is always good. So, first things in the marketplace, we want a bit of that material to make sure that we can build torches. 
So let's see what we uh, what we buy. Floss, I think three of that, three of grease uh, would be good. Uh, we could get spices, but we're not having the money in order to really do that. Maybe a little hemp uh, for rope. Maybe a little bit more hemp, just so that we get started. Additionally, one, two, three, salt. And I would offer wine to one, two, three, wheat, uh, so that we can bake a couple of bread. Just the absolute basic stuff, so to speak. Next up, look for jobs. We need money, and we need a lot of it. Might you be looking for work? Yes, we oh. are. We're taking the easy job. Yes, please. Just uh, down the road. That looks easy as well. And yeah, let's get that one. So we do have three jobs. Don't want to buy information. It was a sign after a night calmly crazy. We got a couple of potential <laughs> recruits that we could get. Level one. Oh, nice! Look at that. A couple of new things. Goes into defensive stance. Pugilist. That must be the new class. Uh, how can I not play that new class? My family used to be part of the broker. And brood. <laughs> I don't know, shall we get the new class? My services aren't free. The tech stance and defensive stance, that looks good. For uh, specifically these new weapons. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure out whether or not we want uh, to uh, take a new class. Disease. At this point, I think we're not going to buy anything. We're not even having money. What we want to do is we want to unlock a couple of new skills. One of which would be Alchemist. Thank you. And the other one would be Smithing. Again, thank you. Now, in terms of uh, skills, you're going to be the cook. Uh, you, my friend, are going to be the smith. And inappropriate Murphy is going to be the alchemist. So we do have that going for us. I just know this year will be a breeze. Without the vineyards, no need Got to a little bit of coal if needed. If we want to smith uh, something. And I think just for forging, if we're using a novice blacksmith... Um, even basic rags with three leather, three cloth would be good at this point for our tank. And a tar, tark uh, leather, wood, and iron ore would be good as uh, well. Have a couple of offhand uh, weapons, that's all fine and good. And we might be able to learn uh, the standard new, uh, the standard new items. So. I would say we're not trying to we're trying to not get into a fight and we're instead just collecting a lot of stuff and we'll try to smith our very basic equipment because on extreme difficulty uh, I know the normal difficulty is already uh, the uh, the second most dif uh, difficult one it's already uh, quite a quite challenging but I think this one here might be even more challenging. We're getting one rope at the moment. Uh, just getting that uh, fresh new bonus. And I would like to get a cooking uh, pot as soon as possible as well. Just like the tents, that would be good. Okay, I have a lot of stuff that we need to craft. And what we need, we can't even sprint at this point. Wait a second. 
That is the first thing that we should get. Oh, oh thank God. That is so much better. Good. The idea is we're going to run a little bit around um, just gathering, but we're second. Okay, good. Sorry for that. So, we want. So, the idea is we want to uh, gather as much stuff as possible without running into crazy encounters at the beginning. We're just going to run away whenever possible. Might I interest you in my humble wares? A couple of good wares, good recipes that I can see right away, but unfortunately, not what I'm looking for. We need iron. Uh, these guys would be our bounty, but you can already tell by me being ultra careful and not running into anything that this is not as easy picking as you might think. I want proper equipment and then we can get these guys down. Okay, we're we need to rest. Um and I'm not even sure can we can we make a tent yet? So cooking pot we don't have enough of anything. Camp chest, nope. No sir. Not happening. Good. What else can we or should we uh, scale at the beginning? Uh, frugality isn't too bad. Carrying capacity isn't bad either. That is actually good. The other option is to go right into some of the basic weapons. Hmm. What are we going to do? So run is pretty much easy. The rationing isn't bad either. But I think we're just going with maximum valor points. Oh no, career plans. How could I... Yeah, we're going to uh, save it up for career plans, of course. Good, happiness will go down because everybody's a drunk card and we don't have alcohol. But we produced uh, some tools which will be helpful to repair our stuff. I hope we can get through the Gosenberg crossing without needing to pay anything. I don't have enough money to cross the border. Yep, that's all good. I may not look my cousin runs a tap. No, we can't afford anything, sorry guys. Just double checking. Nothing that we can pick up. We're not a charity, you know. You need an official pass to enter Gosford. All right, and we need either the border pass or he won't let us through, which is fine. So we're officially stranded here. A new content will need to wait a little bit longer. But we can uh, start freeing this region, uh, but we can only do that if we're actually having proper equipment so really anything that we do at this point at the beginning is just collecting 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 move along mercenaries asshole got a little bit hemp i wonder can we Give him... There we go. Woodcutter. 
it's not a great profession, but it is one that gives us uh, gives us a little bit of wood at the beginning. And Jim is helping the team always, so. If you expect that we're fighting right off the bat, that might not meet your expectations immediately, but I can promise you this is going to be wild in just a bit longer. Don't have lockpicks, so that's not going to happen. And I think that was pretty much it. Yes, these machines are what... Ah, are you miss... You should focus on the... Good. Can't do much with these guys at the moment. What we will do is we're going to collect as much iron ore as we can. There we go. Uh, negotiate or we don't want to be robbed not yet all right let's see what we can do do we have enough stuff uh, we got enough wood we don't have leather yet and we need to get leather somewhere I think though that a thousand, a thousand step market did have leather, if I'm not completely come, mistaken. Come, good people of Marheim, take a look at the great scholar Quickwit's latest invention. The hair. This crook has been. Nope. How? Okay, we need a wandering merchant for that. Interest you in my humble wares, my Oh, that would sir. be great. I would love your wares, but not happening at the moment. Animals of any sort would do for leather. So if we see wolves, then that could be a fight. The problem is it's a bit of a catch-22. We don't want to fight before we haven't gotten proper equipment. Might I interest you, my humble wares? We can't get proper equipment if we don't have leather. But we'll get there, don't worry, guys. Um, next bonus point that uh, we have is actually That's career plans. That's super my important. We should be patient. He's not the one who's about to lose it. First we could hide. Yeah, we can't re oh I don't want to steal I already mentioned that that's not going to be much that we're doing within this playthrough um, we're going to rest here up here if I'm not mistaken uh, was the mine or re respectively both of the mines and that's where we are going to get our equipment from at the moment, we're just trying to avoid conflict as much as possible. Cooking pot still needs more iron ore. So, yeah. Trinket and playing cards. Okay, cool. Like I said, if I'm not mistaken, there were a couple of mines here in the north. This here is one of the shrines for later, uh, where once you get uh, all of the riddles from the tomes solved, you can to get into the shrines. Uh, 
Yeah, I think on the left hand side that's where the mines were. Very good, got some more iron. So at the moment we're really just trying to avoid bigger problems. But we went all the way to Brown Rock, which is good. For starters, we only have 39 gold pieces for starters. This inn is mostly a rest stop for travelers on the way to Marheim. Most people only stay They do have night. cheaper wine, which is good. Well, that's exactly what we need. Common trinkets will finance that little that little find. Might you be looking for work? But we're getting more work. Uh, the uh, Tomb of the Ancients would be great, but we're not in any uh, shape in order to do that. We're just taking the easiest jobs at this point, and not, only, uh, not even those are really safe and secure. Be careful if you go into the hills south. Okay, hmm. Leather is the big problem. So the next time we're seeing animals of sorts, I think we will need to engage. This here was the Brotherhood, wasn't it? No, that's actually... Needless to say, her identity... Good. I am pleased. That is actually the quest to uh, go and liberate this region. So, fantastic. That's a good quest. Couple of wolves over there. Let's see if we can ambush them. Very good. Let's go. Okay, we ambush them, which is good for wolves. However, not that great. A little trap here. Got a bear trap there, which isn't bad either. Unfortunately, we can't shift the traps anywhere, but thankfully we do have full Valor points, so we should be starting with quite a bit of uh, oomph. A nice little hit. Moving back to the back line and let the wolves come. I say let them come. Um, let them move to here. And Jim is engaging the wolf in melee combat. Wolf bites back and you can see Jim takes a good chunk of damage here. Fluffy. This wolf could go to here, which I don't like. So what we can could do is move all the way to here. Good hit. Fantastic. We're moving to the back. That means he's now surrounded and takes penalties. 
we on the other hand will take penalties for being engaged as well and you can see directly gotten through all of the armor Good hit. Oh, almost a kill. Unfortunate. We could also use a rope in order to uh, capture him, but we already said we're not going to use any pets whatsoever. Alright. Hit. We're in galvanization mode. And we're standing right in front. Fantastic. Good. Next up. Now, we want to fully play that battle because I would like to get as many of them as possible. No one should flee or escape. Nice little surround. Uh, not good. I don't like that their relationship is deteriorated. That was not worth it. Alright, repair all of them. And we got four leather, which is good. Got a little bit of wolf sausage and so on as well. And fl fluffy janitor will now become an executioner. I like it. Could upgrade critical hit, which is fine. But our career plans at the beginning are... Uh, not good enough because we don't have enough influence yet. But can we build a cooking pot? Not yet. We can build torches though or let me be more precise we can build one torch and also build one lockpick Yeah, and the next uh, uh, the next major investment will be the cooking pot. Uh, so, since you guys had some problems during the fight, you're going to sit next to each other, and you're really going to like each other. Fantastic. Now let's get the happiness up just a tiny bit. And we're resting. Soon we will need to pay our comrades and that won't happen unless we're actually going to kill something so let's smith some basic equipment and do some tasks might i interest you my humble wares my good sirs um i need money Yeah, 
Yeah, we're not going to attack nor help these guys. We just need basic equipment, really. So, we now got the absolute basic equipment. Could get one tor torch done, and we need cloth. Which we will get at the marketplace. You know what? Here's the deal. We will need to pay the companions next, and we don't have the time. So... This will need to do. Not the best one. I'm a little bit rusty. No pun intended. But this is a major upgrade. We now also do have the protection skill. And at least he can stand in the front line. To be fair, not great. Should have bought more cloth. Alright, troops, stamina can move faster. We're going to use exactly that. Thank you. And is there anything else that we can force that would be of value? That would be great, but we don't have uh, the cloth for it, unfortunately. Good, which means a somewhat underprepared troop uh, will get into a fight with a couple of uh, enemies. Okay, and as you can see, Bernard, uh, Bernard the Idiot is their leader. And they do have leader's aggression, which gives them quite a bit of an advantage. Spear throw would be nice if we could get that done. Someone with a high strength like Fluffy would be good for doing that. The problem that I'm seeing is we can't pull them back to here. That might be a thing. So let's move. Reading the poacher. Not a bad hit. And we're running back like a little chicken. Enemy dam damage dealer, assassin comes in. Oh boy, has a poisoned dagger. I don't like it. Another assassin on the way. to spend um, uh, the the full points for just protection that's unfortunate There we go.
good. That was a proper beating. We got the spear uh, down and we got the assassin down right away. <laughs> it's his friend, I like it. Okay, we're going to come from behind. That's a crit. Like it. And we're moving over here, which is behind the stones. Just so much so that this guy won't reach us. <laughs> nice. Nice, very good. Archer and melee, not very good. Or should we rather say very lackluster? Hitting this guy. And then we're just disappearing in the darkness. See you later. That was predictable, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, we got ourselves a solid victory, although... Took a while to repair everything. Good, so we either got Protector here. Which is heavy armor, or the good old fighter, which is the tank version, or an aggressive uh, version. We're taking the tank fighter, I like that. And we're st do we have enough for career plans? You know, fluffy janitor here. Already tried to get willpower up. And Jim over here. I mean, movement is important as well, but willpower is just way more important at the beginning. Unfortunately, this here will cost 40. We don't have 40, so we will just leave him be. Do all of that. And we're good. We're good, she. I think we can now claim our reward here, which will give us just enough. Might you be looking for work? Here is your reward. Fantastic. Just enough to kind of do the absolute minimum. This inn is mostly a rest stop for travelers on their way to Marheim. Most people oh, and we got ourselves a ringleader's coif. I didn't even check that. That's cool. Willpower, critical hit, armor, and an assassin's skill. Now I can tell you who that is going to go to. One gnome also cannot equip light helmet, okay. Damage increased by 25% against poisoned units. Interesting. 
I like that. One gnome to rule them all. Finally gets uh, his torch strike, which is important. There's six uses remaining, but we can craft quite a few of them. Okay, so that's good. We need more iron ore. And we have the money to pay everybody. So, since we're anyways up here... I would like to... get to the mines. Running, we're going to run low on food. But that's okay. We need ore, because ore means we can smith stuff. And as you can see, finding four on the ground already is not bad. Good. At the beginning, it's really just about survival. Fantastic. We got a couple of pythons, which is going to be really, really helpful for us. What we don't have... Monolith. Oh, the stone has no particular meaning for ordinary mortals. A scholar might learn something from it. Okay. Well, hmm. How about... How about becoming a scholar then? Okay, that is new. That is definitely new. Cooking pot still requires a little bit more iron. Just a little bit more. Good, we got the first social interaction. All of the bandits were slaughtered, couldn't have redeemed themselves. Bemoan and get the sulky status. Ada points earned is reduced by two. New. Keep the ideas to yourself, dude. That's a really bad idea. Okay, we're running out of food, which is never great. I think we needed to go up there. Yeah, wrong direction. And this here is even more leather, which we will need. So let's get another fight going. And then that's potentially the end of the episode as well. All right, we got a couple of traps. Um, plenty, to be fair. We could attack from two sides, but I like uh, the difficult terrain here. Not bad at all. Actually, I like our positioning a lot overall. Good. Something along those lines. I still hit. I like it. And we're moving back. End of turn. Wolves can start to come.
We're taking a swing and just let the wolves come. Oh, they can move quite far. I'm surprised. Get the sprint skill. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I definitely should get the sprint skill. If for no other reason than to disengage from these stupid engagements here. We don't want to capture a wolf, thank you. We actually just want to kill them. And you can see how helpful the torch was. I really, really like the torch. Super good. Got, uh, got inappropriate Murphy also leveled up. Career plans to 12 willpower. Yes, thank you. And every time the unit ends a uh, turn next to an ally and is not engaged in combat, you gain plus one. That is what we want to do. Just steady selection of... Uh, steady gain of Valor points. And we're going to go for Hunter. Jamulet. I think we do have enough to finally do the career plans and put plus two in there. Everybody is at 12 willpower now. And that's a good end of today's episode. That is it from War Tales episode number one. Appreciate we haven't seen much of the new content yet, but uh, it is a good start uh, with an alternative central uh, start in the Virtus province. We're going to get some armor the next time. And also uh, some more, uh, some more material, and uh, then we're going to start the actual uh, liberation of this area. And with the liberation, what I'm hoping to do is, I hope we can um, get our border pass to Tiltran, then rush the way to the very south, and kind of reach there at level three to four, which I think would be an awesome level to start the new con uh, content. All right, that's it from my end. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy content from War Tales, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Thank you and have a good one.